This is probably a bad time of day to be playing, but I will carry on. It will become more obvious, potentially, as we carry on, why it might be a bad time of day for me, but whatever. I have a suspicion that I'm not going to be able to buy recipes, and I would be wrong if that were the case. So we'll do that, and that, and that one. And then I'm going to guess maybe that one and that one. No, that one and that one, this one and this one. There we go. There's the Americano. So there we go. Look at that. All four recipes aren't taken care of thus far. Good. So I'm just kind of going through here to see. Yeah, it is a pretty interesting combination of stuff from before. Syrup battery. Yeah, donut glazer. I recalled that guy. Uh-huh. Water rustificator. Okay, for fermentator. Okay, so some good stuff. I think at this point, though, I should probably work on getting my appeal up as high as I can because I need to get people in here. I don't have a whole lot of money at this point, so I've really got to get people in here. Maybe we should do... Is there like a good little uh, stool in here that's not that expensive, but that I can afford and drop in here and get some good appeal? Doesn't really look like it. The tables, sure. Wow, it's a really good list of pretty much everything, it seems. I'm just kind of clicking through here quickly, and yeah, I think we kind of have... Oh. I think that's... Hmm. Anyway. Um, ooh, I like that. It's an ornate cube that weighs 1,200 pounds and is made entirely of zinc. Here's why I'm a little afraid for today's video. That's why. Right here. Right... I'll have to cut that out. She decided to bring up something, and now she just headbutted the, the microphone. Let's go ahead and put this... Where'd that go? I don't even know what this is. Is it a table? Seats and tips. Okay. But I guess everything is, so... I'm gonna go with the uh, the buoy chair for the, for the moment. Um, can I put this down somewhere because this is part of my problem right now here we'll just put that right there and wow uh, i gotta beat her out here and, and, and make more money so that's that's kind of a problem hey go away i'm trying to click you away yeah you're, you're gonna be a problem today aren't you yeah i'll just deal with it all right we need to put a table down i only have 30 bucks so i gotta find a cheap table Where's a cheap table? There's a perfectly cheap table right there. Boom. Done. That way they can start leaving me some tips, because without any chairs or anything right now, uh, I don't really have a way to draw people in and make the big money in the tip business, because, um, wow, she is just cleaning my clock right now. Uh, crap. Well, ooh, look at that. I can get the fake sea captain. Ooh, Mecha Man. Hmm. A horrifying robot effigy of your mother. That sounds horrible. Ooh, I can get Chef Nodrog. All right, cool. I can get some pretty interesting employees. I don't I don't necessarily dislike the sound of that. $1.67. Raking in the big bucks now. Raking in the big bucks. I'm going to go with decor before anything else because got to get more appeal here. I mean, 188, not doing great. Yes, I know that rhymes. That was not intentional, but it works out well. Bookshelf with fake books, 20 appeal. Done. Uh, assuming I can put it somewhere. Right there, perfect. Can I take that money? Oh, that's my money too? Well then heck, I've just been leaving $13 lying around. Silly me. My bad. I didn't realize my peeps were going over there too. I guess it kind of makes sense. People don't pay attention to tables and chairs and where they belong. They just go wherever they can sit. Makes sense. All right, let's put the cutlass up. Uh, we can't put it on a wall, can we? Oh, yes, we can. And we'll put that on the wall because I don't know why. Uh, sure. Is that... that? That doesn't make something, does it? Hmm. That and that? No. I don't remember what it is. Is it that one and that one? Um, come on. No. That one and this one. I need I need a I need a penny. There we go. 
Well, which one is it? Is it that one and that one? Uh, what? Okay, what's going on here? I says I have one of two. I've tried everything. I don't know which it is. Apparently, I need more money still. Ah, oh, man. I should have more appeal going on. I would, I would think. Because she doesn't really have... Well, I guess she does have the nice... Eh, she has a few things there, so maybe not. Maybe not. Man, she is just kicking my butt. I don't know what it's going to take at this point other than a miracle. Kitty, we, we have problems here because people are not spending enough money. I think I need more tables and chairs and things. That would help out. Here, let's... Let's put another, um... Guess we'll just put another chair down for the moment. I don't know, is, is that is that mine? I think that's the malls. Okay, so I can't really take that. Alright, it's all good. I'm just looking to give people somewhere to sit so they can leave me tips, because uh, clearly I need the cash. Alright, so what is... I tried that on its own. It didn't work. I could have sworn I tried it on my own. I guess I didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. Whatever. It's okay. Man, she's making the big bucks because she's serving the good stuff right now. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, yep. Here's your bottle of water for six bucks. Or glass of water, I guess. Glass of tap water for six dollars. It's a steal. It sure is for someone. Oh, man. I just... I feel like I just need more stuff up here. Um, LCD screen? That would be good. Let's maybe, I don't know, can I can I convince people to give me money so I can buy that? I mean, granted, it's 1 a.m., so... Ooh, enjoy your ghostly shavings. That looks disturbing. I mean, delicious. Deliciously disturbing. I don't know, whichever. Come on, people, you're getting you're getting there. Really need to get appeal up. Come on, that that is... I feel like that's what's holding me back right now. Can I compare what my customer appeal is? I guess not. I, I would like to compare with Ruby. With Ruby? With uh, Rose, rather. I'm Ruby! That's Rose. But apparently I can't compare to her. Figure out what her appeal is. Her store's appeal, because her appeal is limited. She's not a good person. We're getting close. I don't know that the LCD screen is going to be what puts me over the edge. I'm just kind of hopeful at this point. 60 bucks, show off. That's right, your customers leave and don't give you tips. Mine stay and give me tips. Except for that guy, that guy's a jerk. You're not welcome back here anymore, unless you leave a tip. In which case, do come back. So close, look at that. All right, here, let's try it. Um, oh crap, you're, you're freaking out. You're fine, stop freaking out. There you go. Boom. 300. Just like that. 100 appeal. Just instantaneously. Oh man, we're going to need some more some more stuff in here. Let's go with the microwave. And we'll put that right under the cutlass. And ideally, someone will bring me some money by way of purchasing stuff or otherwise. I I'm not really picky. I don't really care. That doesn't give me any new menu items. Alright, so noted. It'll be combined with stuff later, I'm sure. Hmm. I guess we can do the composter. I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but that's okay. What does that give me for menu items? Okay. Guess I can try the composter on its own. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm not sure which what it is then. Espresso and composter. Okay. I'm gonna say I can try these one at a time. Espresso, And maybe I'll, I'll find something that works, and maybe not. I don't know. Here, let's go ahead and put... I can afford maybe a decent-ish looking chair. Um, I don't really have any money, so that's kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. Well, there's your problem. You got no money. $13 tip. I'll take that. Holy cow. Maybe that was meant for Ruby. Or, uh, Rose, rather. Don't care. I'll take it. It's mine. Thanks. There you go. Fireside chair. That looks nice. 
Look at that. Three different kinds of chairs around that table. That looks really good. That's solid right there. That is solid. Solid. I'm still not really catching up to her, though. This is this is going to be a problem. Sure. How about a tiki head? I haven't seen this before. This looks nice. Uh, I can't place it anywhere. Where in the world can I place this this thing? Apparently nowhere. Oh, it goes on a wall. Ah, got it. Okay. Uh, we'll put it right there. I'm going to take that money before someone else does. It's mine. Go get your own. Swordfish on a plaque. Sure. It's 40 bucks. It's going to be 40 bucks well spent. You just wait and see. Um, I'm just kind of seeing what other options we have again here. Uh, modern art statue. Outdated game console. Okay, so we have a few choices here. I mean, maybe I should just stick with LCD screens everywhere and just really push that. But I, I do like the idea of having different stuff, so I don't necessarily want to just, you know, cram the same thing in there over and over again. That that seems kind of cheatery. So, you know, we won't do that. Sailboat painting? Sure, we'll we'll pop that right there. That is one crowded window, I'm, I'm just going to say. That is a crowded window. Might need some more chairs. So I, what do you say we uh, put another chair over here-ish, maybe? Right there is that is that going to work for that for that table? I hope it is, because I can use the tips. Man, I am not making any any progress here. She is just running away with the, with the whole challenge. Now, part of that is because I'm still working on some crappy stuff here. I'm not able to get to the big the big money making stuff. So, guess I should probably look into making a buying a cheese wheel. I think I like the sound of that. So here, we'll go and buy the ship's cheese wheel. That sounds excellent. If I can get some money here, maybe... Maybe I can afford... A cheese board! Alright, what else do we have? That's it. Cheese board, that is the only recipe I got out of that one. Really? Nothing else? Just a cheese board? Alright. Extremely well-aged cheese board. Alright, that's cool. I'll take it, I guess. Man, 6 a.m. Come on, get me some customers. I mean, look at this, 411 appeal. You were one of her customers, so leave me a tip so I can take it. I won't argue with it. I I will take it at this point. Look at that, selling the, selling the green stuff. I guess I'll take it. All right, there we go, 12 bucks. Yeah, see, that tip was meant for her. I'm taking it, I don't care. Hey. Would you like to leave a tip? Twelve dollars, fifteen dollars, something like that would be great. I would take it. Industrial deep fryer. Let's do it. We are going to do it. We are going to deep fry the crap out of something. I I don't know what just yet, but we'll we'll figure that one out. Is it going to be that and that? No. Is it just the deep fryer on its own? The crunching bits. All right. I remember those were pretty popular before, so maybe they'll continue to be popular. Man, I just, I'm still not making any progress. Look at that. She's up to 8,100 bucks. At what point do I just throw in the towel because I can't do anything? I'm still, I'm still working on a thousand dollars. Holy cow. All right. Maybe we should pop some more chairs and tables and stuff down. It's like, that's, that's a pretty nice one made out of compressed barber hair. That sounds really nice. Disturbing, but but nice, I guess. Not sure why that's not visible. That that seems I don't know, whatever. I'm going to say that something is a little wrong with that one. It's okay. It's all right. I will find another chair that I can place somewhere eventually. There we go. Can I pop that guy right there? Perfect. You're going to go sit on that one? You're, no. Dang it! You're going to go sit on that one and... Dang, oh, come on! Come on! People, have a seat. Leave some tips. It's 5 o'clock, for goodness sake. You have nowhere to be. Just sit down and leave me some money. 
All right, we're starting to we're starting to get a little bit of progress here. Feeling like we're starting to move just a little bit. Um, feel like we already have that syrup battery. That would be good. So, where where's where's the money at? There it is. It's right there. Perfect. So here, let's buy a syrup battery. Put that right on the edge over there. That'll be okay. No money, anyone? No money? All right. That actually didn't open up any menu items. Really? Like, I can't do, like, that and that and get something? All right. I, I'm i surprised by that, I guess, but, um... Okay. All right. I, I guess I can't argue with that. Here, we'll put another buoy chair down. Theoretically. Theoretically, at some point, I've got to got to win the customers over with the uh, appealing layout of my tacky well some are anyway tacky decorations so you know at some point I got to win them over that's a nice table I like the look of that we can throw that one down there somewhere if someone will give me some money except it's 12 o'clock in the morning means that I gotta rely on tips from other places that are near to my location but not my location. Yes, you and your hair. I know, you and your hair. You you love your hair. You really love your hair. Man. That's crazy talk over there. I just, I can't compete with that. Just cannot compete with that. Too much going on over there, too many options for people, and you're selling $60 coffee yogurt cups. That just sounds disgusting. And you tell me I make crappy stuff? Man, you gotta look in the mirror there, Rose. I mean, really, you should look in the mirror, because your hair doesn't look very good. Oh, burn! I'm just kidding. That's mean. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. She is still a jerk face. More money, please. I guess I have enough to drop, um... Oh, I don't even know. A chicken coop, sure. All right, we can do that. I like the chicken coop. Theoretically, that should open up some some options, I, I would I would guess. All right, Balboa coffee. Drop an egg into a coffee cup, drink it, run up some stairs, get sick. Adrian! I don't think I did that the first time, so I felt like I needed to do that one again. That's a good one. All right. Money's starting to roll in now that it's 8 a.m. Sort of. She's about to hit 10 grand, and I'm about to hit 1,000. Oh, we got a 10 to 1 thing going on here. That is that is not boating well for me. So uh, this thing is big. Can I, can I place this somewhere? Here, can I place it like right in the middle of your floor? That'd be great. Here, we'll put this down there. Why not? Yeah, my, my cat is going crazy. I should probably just be spending money on more appealing furniture, because that's that's really going to be better in the long run, I think. Um, nope, I... Alright, I guess I won't put that one down. Um, what happened? Demonic coffee energy courses through her veins! Um, does that mean I lost? Uh oh, what's going on? What's going on? Whoa, what's happening here? What's going on? This suddenly got really weird. Ooh, I'm gonna have to harness the power of the apocryphal six ingredient recipes. Coffee craft so eldritch, so arcane. But I dared not mention it until this point. Oh, well, come on, Al. Help a guy out. Well, help a girl out. Only Master Peabury himself could harness them. I have created a replica of his kitchen here. Oh, holy crap, you have. All that is left to do is experiment and unlock Master Peabury's hidden arts. Hurry, before Rose's caffeine lust consumes us all. So, does that mean I... Oh, wow, holy crap, I do have a timer. Um, so does that mean I just start... Oh, well, if I can buy him... That feels like a cheat. So, uh, Cutlass and Glazer. Oh my goodness. 
Cutlass and Glazer. And uh, Filler and Syrup. So Syrup and Filler. And Wheel and Fryer. Wheel and Vobistu Fryer. Fryer, where is it? Where's the industrial fryer majigger thingy type thing? Deep fryer, there it is, right there. Joyeuse, the legendary sword of Charlemagne, now filled with jelly and glaze, coated with cheese, and deep fried for human consumption. That sounds good. So, coffee sink and a fermenter. We can do this. Mmm, assuming I can find them. Uh, we, there are so many things here, and they're like in different orders from what I was used to. Coffee sink and a fermenter. Coffee pot, I think that's what it was. Coffee pot. Nope, two cup coffee machine. Never mind, take it back. We won that one. Uh, fish tank, composter, and a microwave. So, fish tank. And a composter, and a microwave. Where is yonder fish tank? You are right there. The royal gunk, hey. Oh, no, that was actually a thing? Wait a minute, I got it wrong. Holy crap! I'm making, like, a bajillion tons of dollars. How did that happen? Holy crap! Um... Hold on, I need some employees. Hire all the employees! I don't know what's going on here, but holy crap, I guess I gotta I gotta hurry. Okay, so Q cup sink and whatever it was. So Q cup sink. The keeper fermenter. Discus fish fish tank. Composter. And is it the regular microwave? Maybe I took the industrial microwave. Pandora's box, opening the box eat this delicious arcane contest will undoubtedly destroy hope and for humanity, but given the 2016 election, I think we're pretty much good. Oh, touche. Wait, what? Chicken coop, espresso machine. Chicken coop. Um, espresso machine. Wow, I just saw explosions and things happening over here. What is going on? I am so busy trying to figure out where all this crap is over here. Garden repurposer that I completely missed everything. Oh, I completed the level, but dang it, I want to see what these recipes are, so bear with me. Scoba sink and a fermenter. Scoby sink and a fermenter. The cosmic egg. The hatching egg sings the song that unravels the universe. The flavor will literally destroy the mind of those who imbibe it, but it's the tastiest madness. Oh, I like these. Coffee, rustificator, and a cauldron. Water, rustificator, cauldron, and I think it was regular coffee pot. Regular coffee pot. Boom. Done. I can do that. Whistling tea kettle, microwave, and a sink. Sink. Whistling tea kettle and a microwave. I can do it. Vergelmier. Oh, mein Flaschen Frieda. Odin's boiling beer drippings contained in a flesh bound skull chalice. Skull. I like that. Last one. Espresso sink and a cutlass. Where are we? Uh, espresso sink and a cutlass. I can do a sink and a cutlass and an espresso machine. What else do we have? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Coffee brewer in a bottle, a coffee pot, and an industrial microwave. Coffee brewer in a bottle, and where is good old industrial microwave? There it is. The fountain of youth. Normally, coffee makes your life go by faster. This legendary coffee, on the other hand, makes everyone else's life go by while yours sits still in a state of timeless nirvana. And just like that, I sold a $50,000 something or other that, oh, you got the Vergelmere type thing. Wow. I have made so much money, this makes no sense. <laughs> this is insane. Um, let's complete the level, I guess. Holy cow, that was intense. Whew, no joke. That was. <laughs> Excelsior! Wait a minute, are you actually... Stan Lee? Miss Ruby, you've done it. You've completed the challenge. That's it, right? There isn't like some other super secret challenge, is there? No, no, no. This isn't right. You can't win. That fortune isn't yours. Rose, calm yourself. According to Coffee Bottom family tradition, Ruby won. Fair and square. Family tradition. What? What? I'm sorry. I think you must be having auditory hallucinations brought on by a stroke. What did you say? I said, I don't care about this stupid family or stupid traditions. The fortune was mine. So keep your mouth shut, you senile fool. And I've got the evidence to prove what you did to Peabury. It's over, Rose. You'll get that fortune over my dead body. Uh, she might pull out a gun.
I mean, she does brush her hair a lot. Might be hiding a gun back there. Had a bit of a freeze there, but I, I don't know that I missed anything. I guess I did, I didn't, I'm not really sure. But just the same, here we go. Coffee Matriarch Ruby says, All right, everyone, we've got an empire to run. You can see everyone gathered at the table, including the chicken. Why, hello there, chicken. You're getting awfully close there. Um, you're, you're really chickeny, aren't you? Wow. All right. Well, that's some chicken right there. Wearing a top hat and a monocle. You gotta love it. And I suppose on that note, we have finished Beans, the coffee shop simulator. If you have enjoyed this one as much as I have, then I implore you to go check it out on uh, Humble Store, etc. I'm not going to suggest Steam unless really you like Steam. You know, I just think nothing against Steam, but uh, sometimes the more independent stores, Humble Store, Itch.io, etc., or a better deal for the devs, so just keep that one in mind. But thank you very much, I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. Again, it was a kick in the pants. I laughed way more than I thought I would, because honestly, um, I don't know. Sometimes, uh, what, what can I say? The humor hit me just right. I enjoyed the crap out of it, so thank you very much, Matthew. You've made yourself a bang-up game. I hope you know that, and if not, well, I'm telling you right now, it's a good game. Seriously, good game. And that's my cat right there. She's kind of in the way. Ignore her for the moment. Um, just as I'm telling you, good job, sir. Very good job. So thank you very much, folks. I'll catch you on another one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.